Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today it's Friday, and that means we are using Supervised C Bell. So I actually wanted to test out something in the deck, you know. This deck is pretty much just testing and testing and testing, trying to get it right until it's finally just good enough to remake in real life because the deck is kind of tore apart in real life right now. And then I can go ahead and be like, okay, here's a Working You Bell deck, and then I can duel all the people in real life. So, one of the major things and problems with this deck is that it has consistency issues, and that is that is that's definitely my fault like there's there's no other reason why the deck would have consistency issues except for it being my fault because the monster count is low the spell count is phenomenally high like who like you can see this hand right here i'm not even lucky i opened up with a summoner monk like i'm gonna tell you that right now because sometimes this deck Sometimes I get miracle-ass hands, like, this hand is actually really great because of Summoner Monk. Like, if I didn't get Summoner Monk, then of course it'd be shitty. So, I was running, um, uh, I was running Pot, Pot of Duality. But I want to test out Mystic Tomato, and the reason why is because with Pot, I'm not guaranteed to get, in those three cards, I'm not guaranteed to, uh, get something that I need. And it's been happening a lot where I'll go Pot and I'll reveal and it won't be anything. While with Mystic Tomato on their hand, it's another level 4, so it has synergy with Dark Rift Armageddon Knight. Um, when it can summon and destroy, it can summon itself and deck thin. It can summon you Bell and Block, but I doubt I'd ever do that. It can summon um, Armageddon Knight, so I can send. It can also send, summon Summoner Monk, so I can go Mystic Tomato destroy, Summoner Monk, Summoner Monk. Next turn, go ahead and pitch, and then start going off that way. So, it also increases my monster count up, and hopefully that will help with consistency. And here comes Firehand. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, that's, that's another card you can go ahead and think about when it comes to um, helping with consistency. It's Fire Nice Hand, but... Nah, nah. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to you know get down to the nitty gritty. And then set a shit ton of back row. Yep, that was a given. Like I said, I'm probably going to lose this duel because I have a feeling I'm going against something way more competitive than I really want to, but... Eh, whatever. I mean, if he didn't have all that back row, I could game him right here, right now, because... <laughs> fucking, uh, st double Super Vice and a Silent... And a Swing of Memories or Silent Doom with a call... Like, this hand is great. It's just, I, I'm going against something that I really don't want to go against. And I don't want to blind, but really... Just, really. So go ahead and give me one. You... I don't want to go against artifact hands, hat shit. Sorry, if I wanted to duel against the meta, I'd just fucking go to locals. I'm good. Because I know that's hat. Artifact hands isn't... I don't think it's anything. I think you you gotta have the hat as well. You gotta have... You, you don't have just hat. You have to have the whole thing. You have to have the whole cap on your head. The whole lid. Anyway, this hand isn't terrible once again. I mean, I drew Ultimate Nightmare, but what's you gonna do, you know? So, once again, Summoner Monk is just great in this deck, because it gets me set up, but I just didn't want to duel Hat. Sorry. I just didn't. I think you understand. Like I said, if I wanted to duel meta, I would go down to the locals and duel meta. And it's as simple as that. So we'll go ahead and just summon Armageddon Knight. Effect of Armageddon Knight. We'll go ahead and drop Doom Shaman. And we'll go ahead and overlay into the bubble chain again. Effect again. So far, I haven't used the tomato, but, you know, if I didn't open up with the, the, the Summoner Monk, at least I'd have something. And in pot, it'd be useful, useless, because I'm planning on special summoning anyway, so. Go right ahead. You know, it's just like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing in, un, what are you doing in unrated, using the top, one of the top decks? Like, that don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> you know, like, w w why, why, why? 
Oh god, I'm gonna get Shien. If I get Shien, that would suck some booty. Okay. What? That's that's not how that works. That's not how that works. You did that wrong. You're not even fucking listening. Don't feel like babysitting people today. Nope. Don't feel like babysitting people. I'm just testing the consistency of the deck and the opening hands. That's really all I care about today. God, Yu-Gi-Oh would be so much better with out back row. Okay. This isn't bad. I can set the tomato. He killed the tomato. I can summon Armageddon. Or I can summon tomatoes. A couple of tomatoes just to block me. And I can summon a monk again. But I don't have any revival. I'm probably going to have to use the summon a monk for a revival later in the duel. I'm not going to set my MST, so I can MST my MST during the end phase. I'm good. I'd rather use it for when I want to go. No, I don't against fucking gravekeepers. I can't. Uh, it's not. I can't duel against gravekeepers. I can't. I can't even get a good duel in. I apologize, guys. I apologize. I can't duel against gravekeepers. Nor do I would ever want to duel against gravekeepers, even if I didn't have a deck that was susceptible to the strengths of Necker Valley. Uh, I just don't want to. I do terror, yay. The fuck are you using? What, infernities? Yeah, infernities. Infernities. Go ahead, send. Because dueling against Infernities is just fun. Yeah. Because dueling Infernities... It's fun. That's totally fun. The embodiment of fucking one-up in back row. Go look how fun I'm using Infernities! You having fun? Infernities! Like, really? It's not just me, right? It's not just me. Seems like I'm just doing against all the just the cunt asshole decks today. I just want to have fun. I just want to use Super Rescue Bell and just chill with it. I don't want to duel against anything meta. I don't want to duel against anything ash hole -less. I just want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that so much to ask for? Now... It's not me. It's not me. I swear to God, it's not me. That's 4,100 damage right there. That goes a huge chunk out of my fucking white points. Other Dark Greffer, huh? Nope. I lose. I probably could have won this. I probably could have gave the, him a good fight, but my hand turned out shitty. I just don't know what to do. Whenever I get a decent hand, I go against something that you don't want to duel against. Whenever I get a shitty hand, I duel against something I could probably duel against, so... <sighs> I'm just so tired. It's 
swear to God, if I wanted to do it against competitive shit, if I wanted to do it against that shit, if I wanted to do it against Infernities, which I never want to do it against Infernities, I would just go to my, down to my locals and do it against Infernities. If I wanted to do it against Hat, i go to my locals and do a Hat. You know? Just, like, really? Hi. Hi. Like, really? I'm just so tired of Yu-Gi-Oh. I run at one, I run at one, I run at one. And what are you using? Burn? Exodia? Under the Bound Creator. What are you running? That fucking Asianized Mound of the Bound Creator skill during malefic shit? Uh, just so tired. Mountain of the Bound Creator skill during the Lafic Asian Eyes Turbo shit. No, 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 no. He doesn't have an extra deck, so he's probably using the Egyptian gods. There's not a lot of. There's not a lot of cards, de decks that play Mountain of the Bound Creator and don't have an extra deck. I mean, you should at least have an extra deck just for, uh. Just for, um. From Left Foot Cyber End, so. Doesn't even got that, then fine. Let's go ahead and figure out what this card is. It's probably Nimble Momonga or something along those lines. Spirit Reaper. Alright, so he's gonna try to stall out until he gets the Egyptian God card summoned. Alright. Well, this is gonna be fun. Hopefully I'll be kicking that butt soon enough. Oh, well, at least I'm set up. Now I just need a little bit more revival. So good luck trying to fucking get out your Egyptian guard cards while me keep on wiping your monsters during the end phase. I said I can wait. I can wait. So go ahead and set like a marshmallow on your another spirit reaper. Can you play that mountain to the bound creator? That would be great. I, w I would be your best friend if you would just play that mountain to the bound creator. Uh, yeah, I can go ahead and do that. Oh, first I'm gonna night beam. I'm gonna night beam first, cause I'm about to go off. So it was mirror force. Right. So then flip summon, overlay into that gusto emerald effect, detach, bring back doom shaman. Use my normal summon for effect, effect, special summon tinker, and then we will go ahead and sync eight. Into Beals. Tinker effect. We'll go ahead and see the top card. Don't want to miss the tomato right now. Nope, not really. I'm already set up. Thank you, though. And I'll end the effect. Just in case you don't know it, let me copy and paste it for you. So, you can bring out your Egyptian God card, you can activate Mount of the Bound Creator, I do not care. Because then you won't be able to get rid of Mikey Bell. <laughs> so, go right ahead, sir.
wonder if that's like a deep prison or something. Uh, I don't really care. Field attack. Deep prison? Magical cylinder. Alright. Go right ahead. Okay, Marshmallow. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. I can wait. I'm not in a hurry. I'm just getting a shit ton of monsters. And things to send and stuff. That's cute. Ah. Fact. I could take the duel slow. I'm not in a hurry. Sure. Fact. Go ahead. Sure. Actually, you know what? I want you to summon an Egyptian god card. Because there ain't one I can't handle. Well, you know what? I'm going to let you do it. I'm going to let you do it. I'm going to keep on setting monsters and setting monsters and setting monsters. And you trip it all through for an Egyptian god card. And then Ultimate Nightmare will freaking eat you. So. I'm cool. I'm golden. Go ahead. I want you to do it. Keep setting monsters and trip it all through for an Egyptian god card. Do it. Sure. Thanks. Sure. Awesome. I could, but why? When I have a nice, delicious obelisk to eat. Yum, 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 yum. Attack. You can't be destroyed, I know. You still take 4,000. You take 4,000. I can't destroy you. 4,000. My attack? Zero. You take. Four thousand. I don't have to destroy to do the damage. Nope. You can't be destroyed. Mount of the Bound Crater. You can't be destroyed. So you're just stuck. So I will eat you. I will eat you out of existence. Nope. You're not destroyed. If you're thinking about destroying my uh, my, my ultimate nightmare, can't because I'm on the bottom creator and I can't be targeted. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. So thanks for that. Okay. Okay. You lose. You think I give a shit about your different god cards? You don't give a shit. Thanks for the amount of bound in the creator though. So now I can't be sure by battle. I can't be sure by card effects, and I cannot be targeted. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I, I mean, I was thinking about doing Mounted Bound Creator, but then you just did it for me, so thank you. Thanks. No. Thanks. You, you, you can't. You can't touch this. I'm like MC Hammer up in this bitch. Thanks for the mound, though. <laughs> I was about to say, thanks for the mound. Now I can't be destroyed by battle, by card effects, and I can't be targeted. Thanks. <laughs> uh.
All right, well, that was at least a kind of interesting duel at the end. So, uh, despite all that, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, you know, this, uh, sometimes you just don't even want to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Sometimes, because this is what you do with, you know, I play on unrated to have fun, and I do, I still do it against the meta. Oh well. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Yubel Insectors. Thanks for watching.